Converge or diverge, we have sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 2 to a k's power times k factorial, over k plus 2 in the parentheses factorial. As we can see, we have the k in the exponent, and we also have the factorials. So, a good choice to do this is to use the ratio test. But, we see we have the k factorial over k plus 2 parentheses factorial, right? We can actually simplify this expression first before we do the ratio test. Let's do that. To do so, we will break down the bigger factorial, which is this one. k plus 2 factorial is the same as saying we first put down whatever we have in the parentheses, the k plus 2. And then the next factor, it's going to be 1 less. So we are going to have k plus 1. And the next one, it's going to be k. And then the next one is going to be k minus 1, and then k minus 2, and so on. But then all this right here is just the same as k factorial. And now we can cancel out this k factorial and this k factorial. In fact, this series is the same as sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, and we just have k to we just have 2 to the k power over k plus 2 times k plus 1, like this. And we will still use the ratio test, okay? And to do the ratio test, we have to work out this ratio, absolute value of ak plus 1 over ak, but it's the same as saying ak plus 1 times 1 over ak. Okay, and then we take k goes to infinity. So this is what we have to work out. And let's do it right here. I will put down, let's check as k goes to infinity. I am going to say this is my ak now. It's a simplified version of the original, right? To get ak plus 1, what we do is Look at all this k right here, and we plug in k plus 1. So, uh, let me put down the absolute value first. On the top, we have 2 to the k plus 1. On the denominator, we will have this k becomes k plus 1. So let me put that right here. But then, we have the plus 2 after that. So this is the first factor. Net. The next one is, this k becomes k plus 1, and then you have the plus 1, okay? I just want to show you guys all the steps. I know this is k plus 3, and this is k plus 2. But anyways, this is the expression for a k plus 1. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of the original. So I will take this, flip it, and then put it here. I will just put down k plus 2 times k plus 1 over 2 to the k. And now we are about to have some fun, the cancellations. Let's do this first. This is 2 to the k plus 1. We can break this down as 2 to the k times 2 to the first. And this 2 to the k and that 2 to the k cancel each other out. And this right here, I know it's going to be k plus 3, and this is the same as k plus 2. And this k plus 2 cancels out with that k, k plus 2. All right, this is just algebraic, right? Because we're just simplifying all the algebraic expressions. And that's why I put on the equal sign. And on the top, we have 2. And we have the k plus 1 in the parentheses. Over, on the bottom, we have k plus 3 only. Do we need the absolute value? No, we don't, because everything inside here is positive anyways. And now we are going to take the limit. We are going to take the limit as k goes to infinity. On the top, as you can see, after you distribute, it's the same as just 2k plus 2. And we can just look at this as 2k, that's the dominating part. On the bottom is k, so you know this expression, it's going to be approaching to 2k over k, which is the same as 2 because the case can sort nicely. All right, so this is the limit that we got after we worked out the ratio test. This is a 2, but now you have to tell me this 2 is bigger than 
1 because we are using the ratio test. You have to look at what this limit is and tell me if it's bigger than 1 or less than 1. If this is equal to 1, that's not good. But since 2 is bigger than 1, it's good because we can make a conclusion. The conclusion is that the original series diverges. So let me put this down right here. Here is the conclusion. The original series, sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, uh, let me put on the original before we simplify, which is 2 to the k times k factorial over k plus 2 in the parentheses factorial. This right here diverges by the ratio test. Okay? And then we are done.